Hello everybody, it's Jen Scrappy and Creations. I'm back with Not Too Shabby Shop for another design team project. I'm doing a third card with the Smooth Sailing stamp set by Lawn Fawn. This one is going to be a baby themed card. So I'll just show you a quick glance at what I'm using. Here's the Smooth Sailing stamp set. I brought in the old but goodie stamp set Lawn Fawn plus one for the sentiments. And then I'm using the little rock again in the You Are Sublime like I did in the first two cards. And if you miss those, I will link those above. I'm also using the Your Next Stamp Sweet Baby 6x6 paper pad for this card. I am going for a picture gallery wall idea here. So I cut out this back panel using a stitched rectangle die and I used some pattern paper that looks like wood that I just grabbed out of my stash and I'm using various papers from the Sweet Baby paper pad for the background of my little picture frames here. And I went out ahead and cut out most of them so you didn't have to watch me do that. So just chose a different piece of pattern paper for each of the frames. I'm gonna glue this on using my liquid glue. Now for this first one, I added the glue to the pattern paper and then adhered it to the picture frame. This didn't work so great, so I'm going to change that up and add the glue to the picture frame and then adhere the pattern paper to it, which worked much better. So these picture frame dies from Lawn Fawn cut out the inside and the frame, so I just kept the inside pieces so I could reuse them on another project. And then just to save paper, I loosely cut out those pattern papers that I'm using for the backgrounds. So that's why they're not cut out straight or anything like that because I knew it wouldn't matter because it would be hidden behind the picture frames. I just had to straighten this one up a little. I'm going to get this last one on and then we can move on. I didn't leave any of the coloring in for the images this time around. I colored them very similar similarly to how I colored them in the first video. So if you want to see how I colored these and where I put my shadings, then you can go ahead and pop over to that video. I am going to go around the edges of all of my little stamped images here with my Memento Tuxedo Black Marker. It just hides the imperfections from the fussy cutting. Because I cut these along the black line, I just want to give a nice clean side to all of the images. Now I'm using the little lighthouse and the little rocks here for this first frame. I should have actually put this little scene together before I added the pattern paper to the frame just because I wanted this one to be tucked behind the frame. So I'm just going to gently pull that up and get these elements where I want them to be. The art glitter glue does dry quite quickly, so it was a little challenging, but I do end up getting these in place where I want them. I want the rocks to be tucked behind the lighthouse just to give a little glimpse of a scenery, I suppose. The other images I'll just be adhering to the middle of the picture frame, so this is the only one that I had to worry about lifting up that frame and tucking the images behind it. So I'm just going to finish gluing this and then go ahead on to the next little frame. I'm going to work on the circular one and I'm using the anchor and I'm going to put the little bunny like it is holding on to the anchor. So I'm just going to glue the bunny onto the anchor there, kind of having it sort of wonky on that anchor. And then, actually, sorry, the little square, not the circular one. I'm going to add him to the little square frame. For the tall rectangular frame, I'm going to add the mini sailboat and then the little bear onto the sailboat. And for the circular one, I'm going to stamp the sentiments. So I'm just trying to figure out how I might want this to look on the card and moving those out of the way so I can stamp the sentiment, it's a boy. And that, like I said, is from the Lawn Fawn Plus One stamp set. So I love how you can mix and match stamp sets to create fun cards. I grabbed out my Versamagic Dewdrop in Pixie Dust. 
I'm going to add a little pink heart to the center of the lighthouse just because there was some pink on the pattern paper and then on the cheeks of my little critters that I colored as well. So I went ahead and added some foam tape to all of the picture frames. I probably shouldn't have done this until I decided exactly <laughs> which ones I wanted where, but hindsight is always 2020. So I'm just going to lay these out where I think I want them and I'm not pressing down at all so that I can move these around a little and get my placement. I do fiddle with this a little bit, but eventually I kind of get it where I want it to be. Now I'm leaving that rectangular one down a little bit lower because there are these little picture hanger accessories that come in the mini picture frames die. So I'm going to add this little hanger to the rectangular picture frame as well as the circular one that has the sentiment. Then I'm going to add a little bow on top of the one with the sailboat and a little circle that looks like a nail uh, for the circular one. I did cut these out of white cardstock. They don't show up that well on video but you can see them uh, when you are looking at the card in person. Once I have that done, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to adhere the card on to my card base and then I'm going to stamp the sentiment on the inside of my card. Again, I'm using the plus one stamp set for that and I'm just using the sentiment congratulations on your bundle of joy. So that finishes off the inside of the card. There's my baby nautical theme card. I hope it looks like a gallery wall like I had hoped. Thanks everybody for watching. Have a great day and I will see you all very soon in the next video. Take care. Bye.